So I told you that uh, if it is denary, we will convert it to binary and from binary to hexadecimal. If it is binary, we can convert them to denary by having those 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 together. And from binary to hexa, we will have to divide the byte into two parts, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 1, 2, 4, 8. And then we can convert it to hexadecimal. Similarly, if it is in hexadecimal, we can convert it to binary by having 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8 in, uh, under every single digit. And then by putting 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 continuously, and we, will, we can convert it to denary. So we will not be converting directly from denary to hexa because that will be requiring you to divide with 16. And with that 16 inclusion as, uh, uh, as a divisor, you will have trouble in exam without uh, using calculator. So if you are given a denary number, first you will convert it to binary and from binary to hexadecimal. And similarly, we will not be actually converting back from hexadecimal to denary directly. Rather, we will be converting from binary and from binary to denary. This will be a, an easier way. Otherwise, we will have to use 16 from hexadecimal to denary for multiplications. So that was uh, it. Uh, try to solve few questions by yourself and see if you are well versed with it and if you have any problems uh, do ask in your respective groups or underneath this video thank you very much